Yo, what's up guys? Got Pokeyam here with the Naga Nadal Showcase Showdown Live. Gonna be using the Sticky Web Offense team that my boy NJMP made. I think it's an edited version of TDK's, but it has Mega Pinsir, Naga Nadal with uh, Nasty Plot, Fire Blast, Sludge Wave, Draco Meteor, Dragonium Z. This mon is a monster. Uh, it's pretty consistent where it just sets up and uh, obviously gets the beast boost and, you know, Z Draco is ridiculous. We have uh, Sticky Web, Stealth Rock, Shuckle with Encore and Final Gambit. Final Gambit's a block wrap, it's been in Defog because if you're dead, they can't do it. We have Bisharp to take advantage of all the Defoggers, which I'm still getting used to, man. So many Defoggers, I gotta get used to who uses it. Uh, SD Offensive Lando with HP Ice, and then Calm Mind, Shift Gear, I Pop a Berry, Magirna. So, yeah, uh, we'll start looking for a game. By the way, I do have some limited edition uh, friend shirts, tank tops, sweatshirts, and baseball tees going on. Uh, teamed up with Design by Humans. The link is down below if you guys want to check them out. Also, something pretty cool happened over this weekend. I might as well talk about it since we don't have a game yet, but I actually got engaged to Marlene. I proposed, and she said yes, so that's awesome, I, I think, anyway. <laughs> uh, so we have a pretty weak team, too, not going to doubt. Uh, we're definitely just going to lead off with Shuckle right here. I definitely want... I mean, my opponent has, like, two type of uh, hazard controls here, but... I will set up webs first as my opponent's just gonna go for what? Shattered Psyche, Z Draco, Shattered Psyche. Alright, so I'm gonna be able to get up our webs there. Crits me. Uh, we'll double out to Bishop just in case this is Defog, but I severely doubt it. Like, Bishop's good in this game, uh, but webs are just like the best way to take advantage of my opponent right here. If they have HP Fire, they might go for it. maybe Earthquake too. Just Defogs, right. So, this is why Bishop is really, 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 really good right now. Um, I don't even have to predict anything. I think I just go for Sucker Punch here. Yeah, and knock out the Ladio. So we are now a plus two Bisharp. If Landers comes out, like if it's offensive, it dies to Sucker Punch. If it's defensive, it dies to uh, knock off. So it goes Magnazone first. Scarf does not knock me out. And yeah, we are plus two Bisharp, man. Don't mess with this threat. So no Nagadel so far, it seems. Though it is faster than my opponent's entire team, so... I'm assuming because he went this after, we can get off a knockoff here, yeah. Defensive is what I would assume because he went this after Magnazone. So, now we're plus three. Magirna comes out. Are you a Salt Vest, my friend? You look like you are. And my opponent does manage to land the Focus Blast. However, I just want to win with this. I, I, I know this is a dumb play because I can win the game right now with Magirna, my own Magirna. Alright, you know, I win the game with my own Magirna anyway, like after I Thunderbolt and then Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. So I'll, I'll, I'll go off the 85% right now, just to get the uh, the speed boost, whatever, and then just sweep him with this Pokemon. Because I can Z-Draco the Pinsir, and I can Sludge Wave the Tapu Fini. Moonblast isn't going to do too much, and Sludge Wave is going to hurt. And fortunately, I get a crit, so we get the little Naganadel sweep. However, um, that was smart of him to get up the... Uh, to get up the Misty Terrain because now my Draco is weakened, but we can just Sludge Wave twice, if anything. Uh, it'll do enough to the point where Landers can knock it out with HP Ice anyway, so... My opponent doesn't take advantage of the fact that Misty Terrain does weaken my Dragon move, and uh, decides to <laughs> pretty much just attack me. So I can go Magirna now, and just click Ice Beam, that should be game. I live every hit, uh, Ice Beam will be able to knock you out. My little I Pop a Berry gonna activate right there, unfortunately revealing a little bit of information I don't like to do, but I'm not gonna doubt doing a little bit of late game cleaning. Let's go ahead and look for another one. Like I said, this Pokemon's pretty consistent. Uh, on Nasty Plot, you can use... Oh, really cool team. Spinners, Defoggers, come Oh, okay, bro, you got me. Alright, so I definitely need webs up. Like, I, I lose to his own, not gonna doubt. Thankfully, I can just Encore him immediately into whatever move he goes for. I'm assuming it's just going to be rocks. So you're going to go for rocks again. Uh, we're going to get up our webs here. As he goes scissor, uh, I do not mind. I need webs up more than I need rocks up in this game, so I can just final gambit if my opponent wants to U-turn back out into clay at all. I don't care. My opponent decides to set up. I have Pokemon to deal with you uh, in the back. So great. That's an offensive scissor too because no damage was done I don't really like that I have to go Lando here hello sir hey I don't really like that I have to go Lando here and I feel like I'm not keeping my webs up this game 
Uh, and unfortunately, it's Gastrodon too. Like, I've weakened my opponent to uh, the point of Magirna can sweep, but having Gastrodon kind of stops it. But the fact that Scissor is at 30% and everything else is pretty much set up fodder for Magirna. Not set up fodder, but I can set up on them. Finally got to play one of you guys. Oh, cool. Uh, but yeah, we're not going to Scissor here. And then maybe uh, I can do some work with my uh, with my pincer in the back. But if my opponent wants to go for the uh, rapid spin with Claydol, which he definitely can. Unfortunately, we don't have explosion. I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. I'll gravity up first. That way all my moves hit. That also means all my opponent's moves hit, by the way, which is pretty bad for me. Huh. I'm a swords dance because if I knock out this clay, I'm not going to knock out anything. Yeah, I'm not knocking out. What am I even saying? I would say if I knock out this clay at all, Naga Nadal comes in, but yeah, I'm not gonna knock out crap. Oh no no no! You you can go ahead and uh, you can go ahead and knock me out here, bro. I'm not I'm not knocking you out. Don't worry. Yeah, go ahead, knock me out. Thank you. Uh, so we can now go out into our uh, Naga Nadal. Hit this man up with a nice little Z Draco. I hate that. Hmm. Yeah, he's a regular Draco meter. We have dra we have gravity. Drop a Draco on him, get my little speed boost right here. And maybe I can use a Z Draco on Gastrodon to weaken it for Magirna. That might be the play. I still do have Z Draco, so I'll still be able to knock out this and maybe even Como. Primarina comes out. You're gonna have to go for Moonblast versus me. I like I have a Moonblast switching anyway. So we'll just Sludge Wave to weaken you. It takes absolutely nothing. Psychic. Interesting. Uh, but I think this is my opportunity to set up with Magirna uh, versus my opponent. Like, Gastrodon can Earthquake me, obviously, but if I get, like, if I get a Combine Boost, for example, I beat this Pokemon, and if I get the Special Attack Boost, like, if I'm plus two, I beat both of his Pokemon, so, I'll go for it. Yeah, we'll definitely go for it. I'm actually just going to shift gear up, just to make sure that I outspeed both of his Pokemon after. Uh, Scald, again, is obviously going to hurt me, but my uh, Papa Berry should be activating soon. I don't know. I gotta go for another combine, that way I live the Scald, and that way I should be able to live Burn as well. So, I get my Apapa Berry here, which is cool. I get my Apapa Berry. Uh, Gastrodon can't knock me out with Earthquake at 72. And the idea was to make it so my opponent can't knock me out at all, like period. Uh, however, if it is Scarf, not gonna Adele, maybe Fire Blast after this Earthquake can. Clear Smog, Gastrodon won't work because obviously I'm a Steel type. Um, and this should 2 KO any form of Gastrodon, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to Ice Beam anyway. It just does enough. If I, if I freeze you on attack, you, I'll turn you and go for Earthquake. That's better for me. Uh, goes for Earth Power. Nice. So we'll be able to go for another Ice Beam. I can see my opponent doubling out, but... Uh, he actually does not opt to double out, so we get the special attack boost. And again, unless it's Fire Blast, Scarf, not gonna Nagadel, we don't lose this game. It, it very well could be, though. I don't know. Oh, he's just gonna let me go for Thunderbolt. Nice. Even if he doubles out, like, I knock out everything with Thunderbolt into Ice Beam anyway. I don't think he has enough turns to, to do this to me. I don't think my opponent has enough turns, and every single time I knock out a Pokemon, I get another boost. Maybe they can, though. Depending on how much this does. They might actually be able to do this. Hold up. Thunderbolting for sure. I have to Thunderbolt here. Okay, if I get this call right, I win. Because I have two more turns, right? So let's say I Ice Beam right now. On Como coming in and I knock it out. Uh, I then just win the game. With... Well, I still have to get the play right. I think I'm Ice Beam right here. <laughs> All right, good. So we got Como and we get these special attack rays. Nice, nice, nice. Now this is where it's a no drawback win because even if my opponent goes out into Naga Nadal as I Thunderbolt, this better be at 7%. It says 6.6. .6. If my opponent goes out to Naga Nadal as I Thunderbolt, it gets put in range of quick attack plus frustration. So it doesn't make a difference. I'm pretty sure I'm going to die to burn here though because showdown is a lie. Oh, I actually lived. Nice. So, like I said, I do have the uh, priority in the back to be able to knock that Pokemon out anyway. It doesn't really matter. I'm just glad I made the call that turn. Uh, I definitely needed the hit on that Pokemon. I was really scared about it, but 
Yeah, by him letting me get that head off on him, I'll be able to knock him out with quick attack, and that shall be good game. It is it's still pretty consistent, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I think it's consistent. Anyway, good game, dude. But in this case, I was trying to set up for a Magirna sweep, which I thought was more likely. I wish it was like, had a resistance to steel as well. Like, when I see scissors, like, oh, I have fire blast, fear me. I think that though, I'm gonna put flamethrower over fire blast. I feel like fire blast is better. Like I talked about in my Musa video, but fire blast is better versus like assault vest Magirna. But like flamethrower doesn't miss. It just doesn't miss. And I think it's worth it um, because I don't want to have to fear going for the flamethrower again. Uh, obviously, it's better versus like Spadef Celesteela, but when it's at plus two, it doesn't really matter uh, too much. And I don't know, like every single time I use webs, I, I never keep them up for the majority of the game. There's just way too many defoggers running around. Obviously, Bisharp does a little bit of work now. It's I mean, it's a way better Pokemon in OU than it was, I think, in uh, just regular Sun and Moon. Like even in Sun and Moon, it was a good Pokemon, but people start to respect it. Oh, God, this is going to be a pain. This is going to be a pain. Because we literally lose to opposing Bisharp. Hey. Thank you. Alright. Uh, this is a pain. Web's up first, always. Alright, we'll go for rocks here. If he wants to go Bisharp, that's fine. Okay. Encore him into that, in case he doesn't have a mental herb. He does have it. Now we'll go for final gambit. Good B. I don't see how I win this game. Then again, I don't see how my opponent can beat this Pokemon either. Like if I go Bisharp, I literally get the plus two attack and I kinda like wreck everything. It's the mimic you that's the biggest threat, I think. Just go for knockoff here. No switchings on my opponent's part. I mean, it's a plus two Bisharp. I can say the same thing about my opponent's Bisharp. I'd definitely go mimic you if I was my opponent, though. Uh, but ops to go Bisharp. Do you have low kick on yours? Because I'm just going to go for this knockoff of my own. Ooh, he's, lum uh, he's life or So that makes it a little bit scarier. Do I want to risk pincer right here? Oh, he didn't even go for any. Uh, he didn't go for sucker punch. Or either that, or I just want to speed tie. So we got rid of Bisharp. Great. I'm keeping my own Bisharp alive because it definitely deals with Nagan Adele and uh, the Fire Clown, Blaze Flan. I'm assuming that's just how you say it. I'm just gonna assume that's how you say it. It definitely deals with that Mon. Magirna. I think you should quick attack because if I sucker punch you die or SD you get SD too but I don't think you go for earthquake uh, when frustration does the exact same thing I think you quick attack yep we could just ice beam because oh, I thought we lived that mmm I think I'm gonna have to win a speed tie with my own pincer versus him yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna have to win a speed tie with my own pincer I couldn't gravity, and even them versus Mimic you is going to be tough because I don't think I beat it. All right, Pinsir, do your thing. I messed up though. If Mag if I would have known Magirna did not take that at the eighty percent it was at, I guess I, I was I take it anyway. If I didn't know that Magirna would have taken that at the eighty percent it was at, I would have obviously or I would have switched. Um, I think anyway. But the Pokemon I'm gonna end up losing to is the uh, the Mimikyu. Yeah, because Mimikyu is just gonna come out. Like I can go off my opponent's choke maybe, and attack instead. Of, no, my opponent just goes Mimikyu and wins the game. I think. Yep. Unless this knocks you out. But, like, it doesn't bust your disguise. I gotta go for Flamethrower and burn him through his disguise. Like, that's literally my play. Well, 
GG. That was my only play versus that guy. Um, if I would have known that Earthquake did knock out Magirna always, I don't know why I pop a berry makes me think I'm bulky. Maybe because it did like this last... Wasn't I like at 86 last time? I did 86 or something? I don't know. If I would have known it knocked it out always at that percentage, I would have went Landers first and then doubled out into uh, Magirna uh, to take the hit and then Ice Beam and then, you know, uh, keep Landers alive for Mimikyu. Like, I messed up once I had to go land. Like, I lost once I had to go Landers. Unless I got like the Flamethrower Burn on Mimikyu. I'm not sure why my opponent play roughed when they could have um, Shadow Claw twice, but maybe they had Drain Punch or something on their Mimikyu. I'm not sure. But opposing Sticky Web matchups are always uh, not fun. Uh, but. Alright, so in this game, AVT Tar is probably my opponent's switch into. I want to say my opponent's switch into um, Nagan Adele, otherwise, it's pretty weak to it. Uh, we're going to lead Shuckle. Uh, we shall get up Webs first. Webs more than Rocks, just because. This Pokemon is a pain when it boosts, and I like lowering Keldeo speed as well for Pinsir, uh, because I can see it being Scarf Keldeo plus Nasty Plot, Defog or maybe Specs Magnezone, Rocks Tyranitar, and um, Rocks, Rocks Landers, and AVT Tar. So what's up first? I guess now we can go Rocks. My opponent wants Earthquake first, that's fine. Uh, if they go hard, Scizor, that's fine too. Like, you would think that my opponent isn't going to defog immediately because they decided to, uh, yeah, because they decided to set up rocks. So we'll be able to not only weaken something with Final Gambit, but potentially put the Landers in range of, uh, that's definitely defensive Landers, by the way. But we put it in range of Pinsir soon, I think. I can Z Drake on you, but that's not the play. That's defensive Landers. I'm going to go Magirna and double, uh, expecting him to want to go Magnezone. I'll also find out if I switch out first and he switches out that I am confirmed faster. But that's definitely defensive landers, like just a little bit of damage he did. I just don't want him going Magnezone and trapping me. But I also don't want Scizor taking, I, like I also don't want my, um, my Landers taking damage, but, okay, so I am confirmed faster, nice, and he does go Tyranitar, beautiful, 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 so, we're gonna HP Ice here, I guess he could go Scizor, eh, Earthquake's a no drawback play, it's Earth play, if you decide to sack this, great, if you go Scizor in regular form, you go down, uh, Landers will be 2 at KO'd by HP Ice anyway, so will I, but we are confirmed that my Magirna is faster because it did switch out before his Landers, and again, Earth play, like, getting these rocks off on T-Tar is great, and it should be AV, yeah. So, my opponent decided to give me the AV Tyranitar, which I am definitely okay with. I am definitely okay with. Naga Nadell is going to have a field day right now. Caldeo comes out. I don't even think I need to boost to win with Naga Nadell. Lando is still useful. Bisharp can still check his own Naga Nadell. But this can win. I'm gonna stack Bishop to the Skull. And then go Nagana down and Z Draco. Oh, my opponent goes for Hydro Pump and unfortunately misses. So, uh, Mega Pinsir can also win this game. So I'll just go for Sucker Punch here. Got a little bit of chip for Mega Pinsir. Hydro Pump lets me believe that you're a Scarf, uh, though I don't get to find out based on that damage. Sludge Wave, I, I don't think you do 63. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I do not know. This Pokemon not being weak to rocks, but looking like a purple Beedrill <laughs> throws me off. As yeah, Draco is a no drawback play, you have no dragon immunity, so we shall knock out Caldeo whilst getting a speed boost. I still do have Flamethrower for uh, Scizor, Magnezone. I can Draco the Landorus. But yeah, I like this Pokemon because it's just so good at sweeping. Like, I don't have to worry about missing Fire Blast. Because I have Flamethrower now. So I think the Flamethrower is... Like, I, I mentioned it, how it's a good other option as well. I like it on Specs as well. Um, because you don't... You 2 kill everything with Specs Flamethrower anyway. Like, AV McGinn is still eating a Specs Fire Blast, so you might as well go for Specs Flamethrower and hit. And not be like Protect Stall. Like, the PP is also pretty different. It's pretty big. Oh, this should definitely go for... If I weaken this, McGinn can win. So I'll just Flamethrower you. Yeah. 
McGinn can definitely win with this thing being gone. So uh, no switch-ins. You can now go out into your. Uh, you can now go out to Scizor if you want to. I'll allow you to bullet punch me. Yeah, I'll go down there, and then we can go Lando. I'm gonna SD up here. <laughs> okay, this, this is Defog. This is actually pretty bad because I can lose this Pokemon, but... If that's the case, I'm gonna Earthquake here first to weaken this thing uh, for Magirna setting up. But I'm assuming, yeah, you would go Lando first, yep. That's fine. We're just HP I see now. No. We'll go Mangirna ourselves. Uh, I guess you can go for Earthquake or U turn of your own. But Ops to go for HP Ice anyway. So I can go for the Ice Beam here. Uh, as my opponent is going to go out to the Mega Scizor. Cool. I'll take that hit anyway. I'll just Thunderbolt. <laughs> like, the two it KOs you, so. Did I mess up? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I do have Earth Plate Landers in the back. And we'll SD up here. Because I take your hit. If he defogs, it's worse for me. But okay, he SD'd, so this is fine. I live a I, I live a plus one bullet punch, and this is plus two earth plate. I don't think it knocks out Scizor. Because it's I mean it's plus two earth plate, but it's you know it's it's Scizor. It's Mega Scizor, man. It's broken the Skarmory. Uh, but I know that after rocks, the range that Lando's at, it goes down to HP Ice. Yes. And if this does manage to knock out Scizor, that'd be great. But obviously, like I said, I didn't think it would be able to. Hmm. I know for a fact Mega Pinsir lives one, so. Is Swords Dance up to play? Because I know I knock out Lando as well. Yeah, what Swords Dance up? Because I love the Bullet Punch for sure. But I, I need to make sure I live Rocky Helmet as well. It might come down to a 50 50 depending on what play he does here. But he should always Bullet Punch first. But I Swords Dance up for sure. Because I live this. Oh, never mind. I live... Like, I, I guarantee knock you out, right? So if I'm my opponent, right? If I if I quick attack this, and then I knock out Lando, I win the game. So you sh you have to go... Like, I... You have to go Lando here. Mm-hmm. Just have to use lo logic to make that play. But you straight up have to go Lando there to get the two turns of Rocky Helmet on me. So this is now a pincer good game, unless it is Scarf and Naga Nadell, of course. But this should be a good game. I don't know if this actually knocks it out. What is this thing's defense? 73? 73 HP? Good game. Alright, so I guess it wasn't Scarf. So, yeah, you literally had to make the Landers play right there, right? I, unless you obviously predicted me. But, again, the thought process was if I went for Quick Attack, it didn't knock out Lando, and I take two turns of Rocky Helmet, which is what my opponent needed. If I Quick Attack here and he stayed in with Scizor, and then with Lando, I frustrated it, knocked it out, and then I knocked out the Naga Nadal. Uh, but that was just, you know, me making the call, I guess, like, and just being super confident in it. This is a scary team, but, mm, okay, Coco can have Defog, and Landers can have Defog. I would say no hazard control if this was, you know, not this generation, but you definitely have hazard control. Webs are good for Kieran Black, and I'm gonna Dell is good in this game. Lando as a lead, I'll get up uh, Sticky Web first versus you. Typically when I see giant threats like this, especially this Pokemon, like I get up webs first, but uh, Stealth Rock, second. That's, and then I just go for Final Gambit, no matter what he brings in. Uh, though Magirna is actually pretty threatening if it gets Final Gambit in. Uh, that's a more offensive landers than the last one, so that's cool to know. We shall Final Gambit you. That's definitely a more offensive landers. Then again, I did the same HP ranges. <sighs> it's tough, because I need to keep Landers alive to not lose to Halucha. If I go for Gravity, he actually can't go for High Jump Kick. I could just regular Draco here, I'm pretty sure, and that should be able to knock out Landers at 74. I want a Flamethrower so bad. I'm actually going to make the Flamethrower play. I think you have to go Magirna here. Now, let me just Draco. Yeah. 
<laughs> Let me just make the smart play, okay? So we'll knock out Landers. Um, he does obviously have a Lucha. But if I get up Gravity, I'm good. If he goes Coco and Defog, I think I win. You can go for Flare Cannon versus me. Just Flamethrower to weaken you. I know it's minus two, but... Okay, it's AV confirmed. All right, cool. But yeah, that's pretty much something along those lines is what I expected. A Volt Switch. Um, and I want to force Coco in and make it take a hit. Like, I don't think Coco would stay in to take the... Uh, the, the potential... The potential um, sludge wave, even at minus one, I think it's not in his best interest to take it in. So I'm gonna go for nasty plot here. You should always go Magirna. Yes, 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 yes. And the main thing, reason I did this is because I want him to go for flare cannon now, right? Uh, so I can go to my own Magirna, tank that flare cannon, and then just spam thunderbolt. Yay! That did some damage. Hold up. And basically, even though I'm only doing 20 to the sassy Spadef Max invested Magirna, um, Halucha is looking less of a threat because Pinsir is there. Um, Pinsir also guarantee knocks out Magirna. Coco should go down as well to the attack. That did nothing, by the way. It's crazy how little that did. I need some damage on Kieran Black before I knock it out. But I'm basically like weakening him. You saw minus uh, minus two flamethrower did thirteen percent. So if I nasty plot up, yeah, yeah, I could. I could see it happening. This mod's such a problem. Unfortunately, my opponent actually misses the fire blast there, so we're able to knock him out with the modest electric terrain boosted uh, thunderbolt. So that really does suck for my opponent right there. Goes Kieran Black. We'll Ice beam you, and that's the damage for Pincer we need. Earth power is going to be able to knock me out. However, however, I get to go out to Nagana Dao and click Flamethrower and knock you out. And also, pretty much make this game with Pinsir. Because basically, if my opponent goes out into Magirna right now, you have to go for Flare Cannon to knock me out. I guess you could have Ice Beam, but Ice Beam isn't typically ran on Assault Vest set. You have to go for Flare Cannon to knock me out. I get to go out to Pinsir and I get to SD up and then I get to win because I'm faster than everything due to Sticky Web. So, yeah, we'll flamethrower you. Flare Cannon knocks me out. And uh, that's that's game because Pinsir can come out. SD up. And even though the Halucha does get a defense raise, like plus one quick attack is going to do enough to where Landers can knock it out anyway. Yeah, so it's in my best interest right now. That, that of course, is assuming this is not a Scarf Coco. Wait, does plus two frustration knock out this? Uh, Pinsir. Because Coco has good defenses. Wow, what? Holy crap. That's the better play then. Go for that attack. Uh, the Halucha does get the plus one defense, but I don't even know how much that means it'll take because this is still plus one Pinsir. Like, there's no point in calcing. Like, I have to go for quick attack anyway. Maybe we'll rock, this might still die. <laughs> yeah, good B. Pincer, man. That Fire Blast mesh changed everything, though. Like, just straight up. Alright, let's go ahead. Oh, that dude had 2,000 points. Wow. Let's go ahead and look for another battle to wrap things up. Hopefully, Nagano Del can uh, do a little bit more. Like, it, it's really consistent. Um, but in a lot of cases, like, people are running AV Slow King, uh, AV Titar, like I said. Um, Spadef Heat Ran. You haven't seen any Heat Ran today. Uh, but we've seen, like, two or three AVT tars so far, uh, which also helped take on the clown as well. Uh, you know what's really cool though? Stakataka. I love that Pokemon's name, Stakataka. Oof, that's almost as good as Negrozma. Almost though, almost, almost. But yeah, this Pokemon's good. Uh, I don't know if it's ban worthy. I don't, I don't think so. Just yet, just yet, obviously. We'll see what the council decides and what the, uh, you know, what people end up thinking. Uh, and maybe there will be a suspect test, maybe there will be a quick ban, I don't know. Uh, the clown is really, really, really good though. It's a fast channeler with strong attacks. So I'm really excited to use that. Uh, and we got another game, uh, Defog Lottie, but this makes this 
job a little bit easier. Greninja just beats this team, which I don't like. But this dude said no. Uh, thank you, man. Do you know what actually just beats him, though? Naga. Naga just destroys him. Absolutely destroys him. So, like I said, Greninja does just beat this team. Um, but he leads Landorus, so... I'll actually proceed to get up rocks first because there's there's no point in getting up webs. Uh, like I, I get up webs anyway, and I can always encore any mon that sets up, and I can just go for final gambit if anything, like depending on what move he makes. Uh, so we'll go for final gambit right now. As you turns out, I'm assuming that will be a Lottie coming in. Assuming Lottie will come in. Yep, nice. So it could be Scarf Lottie, but I am a hundred percent willing to put him in a situation where you have to knock out me and you don't get rid of my hazards. So I'm going to just Devastating Drake right here. It's Mega Lottie. Okay, so yeah, this was the only defogger on my opponent's team. So we're going to definitely be able to knock that thing out right now. And we get our speed boost. Uh, this mon should be able to actually clean sweep my opponent. Depending on like what ends up happening. And also this is like, not, that's not Mega T-Tar confirmed, so... Pursuit. Yep, nice. I All I had to do was live it. And I can go directly into Bisharp now and just click Iron Head. It's pretty safe. I like how I'm definitely going to be using Como, by the way. Uh, he does give me Tyranitar right there. I get a crit. Unfortunately, I, I, I don't know the calcs on that. Sorry, dude. I don't know the calcs on that. Uh, but Como is going to be able to come out. Because this be Z. I'm going to Iron Head first. Because it's two KOs you. Oh, sorry, bro. Like legit. But basically, the idea was if he set up, I'm not gonna Dell was faster anyway, and like it, it was faster anyway. So the idea was that it didn't matter if he set up, or I didn't care rather if he set up. Does, wait, why are you not going out into Greninja? Why are you going this first? This, I'm not. I'm using Iron Head. This poor man. This poor man. I'm not even trying to do this. Like, I'm just trying to get damage off on him. This poor guy. <laughs> Funny thing is, Battle Bomb Greninja can still beat me. But that's not Battle Bomb because it is female, so... We can just click Knock Off here. This poor guy, man. Oh my god, Bisharp just does not stop. It just doesn't stop. Holy crap. Yo, Grassy Terrain weakens his uh, Earthquake as well. So I actually live it. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god. Bisharp, man. Holy crap. Sorry, man. <laughs> Legit. That, it is what it is, man. What can I do? Uh, but, yeah. Um, anyway. In that game, I still think it was necessary that I was able to get off the uh, Z Draco on that because obviously Sticky Web did do what it had to do. Uh, let's say I didn't flinch Como and he set up. I would always stay in again with Bisharp and click Iron Head again because that would put it in range of Quick Attack from Pinsir or Sucker Punch from Bisharp. Or let's say he uh, set up and then knocked me out. I would go Naga Nadel. I would Revenge Kill him. And because he was Scarf Greninja, that's the only thing that could actually outspeed me. Everything else went down to Sludge Wave, Draco... Draco and whatnot, but it's a cool Pokemon. Um, very, very solid, very, very solid. But just the meta right now is everybody's running the same thing that can deal with it. Really fun Pokemon, nonetheless, though. Uh, not sure if Sticky Web is the best way to use it. The, the team in general I'm using is offense, so um, but offense in general is typically you know best with this mod, but um, but not sure if Sticky Web specifically is best. But let me know your thoughts on Nagano Dell, and you guys can leave a like and subscribe. Check me out on Twitch and Twitter if you want. You can check out the shirts as well if you want to. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.